Hi guys, it's Bill the Concert DVD Guy uh, again. Uh, I don't have a DVD today to uh, to review for you, but I once before tried to uh, get a, a topic discussion going and it didn't work so well, but I'm going to try a different topic. The last one was on the word slut, and it was it fair or unfair or sexist or, uh, or what have you, but apparently you all weren't too interested in that one. I didn't maybe get 45 hits, uh, so... That one didn't fly flat out. Um, so I was thinking of other topics uh, to put out there to see if I couldn't get more uh, interest and more comments on. And uh, the one that has sort of been resonating in my head is how do we feel about uh, sex before marriage uh, in the year 2010? Uh, both from the point of view of the parent which would be like myself. I'm a parent of three daughters. And also I think from the, from the uh, well, I wouldn't call them kids exactly, but young people, um, you could weigh in from your point of view. Um, the religious people, if there's religious people want to put, put in their uh, two cents, that'd be great also. To, uh, my father was a very religious person. My mother was a very religious person. So as we were growing up, uh, we were both, my brothers and my sisters, were told uh, very strictly uh, that uh, sexual activity prior to marriage was taboo and you'd be pretty much felt like you'd be cut out of the family. Um, so there was a lot of emotional and physical, because my father could beat you if he wanted to, if he wanted to hit you, he'd hit you hard, uh, pressure to obey, but yet the this, the uh, physical urge or the natural urge of life uh, for a lot of us overcame that and we took a chance and you know some, some of us got caught some didn't but uh, the fact is we we did it anyway or I think most of us did anyway and so then I became a father myself, and so I had to have similar conversations with my own daughters, and I made it clear that it was not forbidden, because so often I found that the girls will, uh, just to spite their parents, if the parents are being very, um, put their thumb to the, you know, really thumb down on them, that they're liable to have rebellion sex. They'll just grab any old asshole that they can find and take them to bed just so they can say, ah, ha, ha, you can't tell me. And, and then oftentimes they have a lot of emotional pain and the possibility of STDs and whatever else. And so I wanted to be sure that my daughters uh, would not have uh, emotional baggage, number one, and would not have the need to purposely just grab some jackass just to say aha daddy I'll show you it's you know it's my body I'll do what I want so I sat them down and I said look I said uh, you have choices um, you can choose to wait and have sex before you marry or, or rather wait and not have sex before you married or you could choose to have sex before you married this is a choice that you are going to need to make for your own self and you'll have to make that decision based on how you feel and what what expectations you have and um, I said I will support you either way so if your choice is to have sex prior to marriage then we want to make sure we have protection we want to make sure we know about STDs and we want to know about AIDS and we want to know about pregnancy and we want to know about all of the issues that are involved and of course we want to know about the emotional issues that you know if how are you going to feel if he says, I love you, I love you, I love you, and then he has the action, and then uh, afterwards he's as cold as ice and can't get, get away from you far enough. Unfortunately, this can happen. Uh, so I wanted them to be prepared for that possibility. And, you know, certainly you don't want to go to the other end of the extreme where, you know, you're just being walked all over and used as a, you know, pincushion kind of thing. So uh, as a result, my daughter's, are primarily actually on the conservative side of sexuality of their own choice uh, they've never had to uh, do any kind of rebellious sexual behavior because there was nothing to rebel against I did not make it 
I did not make it forbidden like my father made it forbidden. I did not make it forbidden. I didn't feel right about that. And also because I was sexually active prior to my marriage, I certainly couldn't feel right stating to my children, oh, you must be, you know, virgins or I'll kick you out of the family. I, that's two-faced. Um, that's disgusting in my opinion. That's not right. Uh, you can't say what's good for me is not good for you or I'm allowed to, but you're not. That's sexist nonsense and I, 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 won't, I won't be a part of that ever. So um, at any rate, uh, I would love to hear from the parents. Uh, you know, I, I, I get a kick out of this uh, this very conservative Christian family, uh, the Duggars on TLC, and there's no doubt in their family that they will would be waiting until marriage. They're not even allowed to have like a little peck on the cheek or peck on the lips kind of a kiss. Uh, they have to be engaged apparently just to hold hands. Just to hold hands, they have to be engaged. But prior to engagement, there can't be any touch of the of the, each other whatsoever. Um, as much as I have respect for them and that they that they you know carry out the courage of their convictions kind of a thing, I, I think it's too much. Truthfully, I think it's um, you know a little too much, a little too strong. They can't wear swimsuits. They're not allowed to wear swimsuits. They have to wear virtually full pair of clothing to go swimming because they're not permitted to show anything. The thighs aren't allowed to be seen. Uh, portions of the legs, even certainly not their top. Uh, you know, that's very, everything is very covered up, and um, they call it being modest. I don't know. But what I worry about is, and this is something that happened to me once many, many years ago. I met a lady that I really liked, and she seemed to really like me. Well, she definitely did like me. And this is many, many years ago, probably 25 years ago. And... I was physically attracted to her and she was physically attracted to me and we dated and so on and eventually you know eventually we got to know each other well enough and the relationship progressed to the point where we wanted to become physical and we did and the unfortunate truth of the matter is it was the worst sex both of us ever had uh, I was not making her happy she was not making me happy we just were like two ships passing in the night when it came to sex and it was awkward, it was uncomfortable, and subsequently the relationship died as a result of it. Within a week after the encounter, we were going out other directions, both of us. So my thought was, had I taken the Duggars route, the real strict Christian route, and married this woman, I would be married to somebody with lousy sex. And she in turn would be married to somebody with lousy sex. And I don't see that as, I see that as a recipe for disaster. Uh, I don't see people staying in relationships where they're, where, they're not, where they're not being fulfilled, period. Especially on the area of sexuality. That's a huge, huge portion of the relationship. So I wonder if anybody else has had that experience. Um, but I wonder why with the Christian people that are that strict and that into it, that, that adhere to that degree of it, uh, they don't seem to be a problem. They just uh, wait until they get married, and let them, or maybe it doesn't. Maybe there's a lot of them out there that have had miserable times, and they could chime in and leave comments or, or a video comment or whatever uh, to say that it, it, you know, it's a bit of fallacy that it's not working as well as it as it's portrayed to be. But uh, I'm divorced. I've been divorced a long time. I'm still looking for somebody to spend my life with, and. I don't necessarily have to get married again, although I would consider it, you know, under the proper circumstances if I had those strong enough feelings. Um, but that's the topic today. Uh, what do we feel about premarital sex uh, from both the point of view of the father and the mother, as well as the point of view of the uh, the young people, the, the siblings of, of parents, you know, the, who, would, who would actually be the ones engaging. Um, I'd be curious to hear if, if you're on the conservative side and feel it should wait and why you feel it should wait. And uh, if you're on the more liberal side and feel it should not wait, I'd like to hear your reasoning on that as well. So I hope this is an interesting topic. I hope this one will get more attention and get more hits uh, than the last one, which went down the toilet as far as I'm concerned. 